All right, guys, just waiting for these last couple of people to be able to join in. Submit, submit, there's Ricky. Just making sure, missing Jordan and Cheyenne. I like the deer, Amber. It's random. All right, guys, I am not going to keep you on here long. I'm going to make mine very short and sweet. So um, later on this week, we'll have longer Zoom sessions, but this one's going to be a short one. Okay. So um, first of all, welcome to 2021. Happy New Year to you guys. Um, hope everybody had a relaxful new year and you guys are staying healthy. So that's the whole point of this week is so that you guys can get all clean, all like freshened up and ready for next week when you guys come back to school. So let me show you what we're going to be jumping into. We are actually starting a brand new unit. So obviously all our units start with vocab. So I'm making your vocab a little easy this week in terms of how you're going to do that. You're not doing it on Quizlet though this week. You are going to be doing these in your notebook. Um, so I would recommend that if you're going to use a notebook for this um, vocab that you don't use a notebook that you use for other classes, okay? Because next Monday you're gonna turn your notebook in. So in other words, this vocab is due one week from today during class. So let me show you how, where your vocab is at. It's pretty darn simple to find it. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen really quick. So um, you have a new folder, January 4th through the 8th. There should really only be one thing in there and that other than the summary page, um, which is everything is listed here in case you don't make it to a Zoom meeting, they will be recorded and posted here. But your vocab is right here. And as it says in the directions, define the following words in your notebook using the method provided in the video. And today is the video. Use your science online fusion book glossary or your own resource to find the de definition for these words. You will turn in your entire notebook when instructed in order to receive credit. So these are the words, there's only 13 of them. Now you'll notice that seven, eight, nine, and 13, they actually already have definitions. That's because in the glossary, you won't find them. But words like motion, if you click on um, the glossary link, you click on M, you scroll down to find motion, there's your definition, you literally are going to copy that down. Now, the part that's a little different are two things. One, extra credit, we're done with for this quarter, except for here. So if you would like still an opportunity to earn some extra credit, there is an opportunity to do that here by finding an illustration. You can print these out, you can glue them in your notebook, or you can draw these out for each of these words. Now I'm gonna show you where you're gonna put those pictures because of how you're going to create your vocab notebook. So with that being said, let me stop sharing my screen and admit Cheyenne. Okay, I'm Mark Cheyenne here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your notebook. I have a very small notebook, so I don't care what size notebook you guys have, okay? Basically the idea is you're going to have a notebook and you're going to put down your words on a page. I would do like three or four words per page, depending upon how big your notebook is. This one's a small one, it's about the size of my hand. You can do three words per page. And then what you're gonna do is, I drew a black line going across to divide each of the words. And then you will cut on that black line so that when you turn the word over, you will find the definition on the next page. And you're gonna do that for each of your words. So as you can see here, this, this will be for three of my vocab words. So it kind of replaces your index cards and still um, does its job. Quizlet just doesn't make it for you guys. It's just way too easy for you guys. I hate to tell you that, but it just is. And most of you just don't use the Quizlet. This at least you are copying the words down and your brain is actually learning them because this vocabulary is on physics. So if you are planning on being anything towards the world of math, 
um, doing any type of engineering, um, or obviously your junior year of high school, you will be required to do physics. And this is just the basics of physics, okay? So you're gonna do that for each of the words. So as you can tell, I turned to the third page of my notebook, and then I did it again, word, word, word. I will cut these lines. And then on the next page after that, I will have the definitions on the next page. If I can turn the page over, that would be great. You'll have your definitions, okay? So with 13 words, you'll probably take up like what, maybe four pages or eight pages in your notebook, okay? So you will literally turn in your notebook on Monday to turn in your vocab, okay? That's pretty much it for your assignment for today. It's literally just doing vocab. I wanted it to be pretty easy for our Monday because I know some of you are probably still sleeping at this point in time just a couple of days ago, okay? The only other thing I need to talk about is some of you are looking at your grades, you're like, hmm, why am I failing right now? That is because some of you still have not turned in your choice boards. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about really quick. Okay, let me go to my share screen. Um, it's pretty easy. It just literally is some of you, you're done with all your tasks, but you forgot to turn in your choice board. So if you go into last times folder, which is the December 21 and 22nd, and you go to this constructive destructive forces, this one right here where you guys have seen all your choice boards, some of you have not submitted that. I need you to submit it so I can put your grade in. So right now I only have two of you, Charles and Jacob, you guys need to submit those so that I can actually put the grade on there. The rest of you have already submitted and may or may not have already seen your grades already updated. If you just submitted it over break, I will be doing that actually today and you'll see an updated uh, grade in progress book um, here soon, okay? So with that being said, that's pretty much it for from me today. Um, I will be available all day today if you guys message me or have any questions, but I didn't wanna keep you guys very long on here. Basically, I've kept you on for eight minutes. Think you guys can handle the vocab? Thumbs up. All right, short and sweet. That's all I wanted it to be. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place.